Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we're going to be talking about two very different movies. One film is based on a beloved children's book character. The other stars a beloved comedian who usually fails to impress me. Here are a couple of quick movie reviews for two films that you may want to consider or maybe not consider checking out. First up is Paddington. I went into this movie expecting it to be terrible and I'm here to tell you that I was wrong. I will be the first to admit that I never thought I was going to like this movie. I found the British wit, puns, and overall story to be kind of fun and cute. The CG isn't always the greatest, but most of it works. I really enjoyed what happened when we got to see things the way Paddington sees them for the first time. Nicole Kidman puts on a really cheesy performance as the villain. Her character seems like the strange child of Corella DeVille and Ethan Hunt from Mission Impossible. No joke. That being said, it kind of works. This movie could have been terrible. No, this movie should have been terrible. Not only was I pleasantly surprised that it wasn't terrible, but that I actually liked it. Next on the list is The Wedding Ringer. Shocked twice in one day. First I enjoy the Paddington movie and now this. While I won't call this a must-see comedy or an unpredictable one at that, I will say that I was still pretty entertained by this one. One reason is that it wasn't just the Kevin Hart show. He shared the spotlight with Josh Gad and six other groomsmen, so it was not just the typical Kevin Hart movie. The plot was pretty predictable when you discover right away that Kelly Kyoko Sweeting's character is an unlikable and selfish bridezilla. Fans of Kevin Hart will enjoy this one, of course, but might be a little disappointed that the movie is more about Gad's character than his, even though his character does have a side plot. And on a side note, any movie that has a scene inspired by my favorite movie of all time, The Usual Suspects, has to at least score some points with me. Despite the predictable plot and all over the place humor, I still had some fun with this movie anyway. Maybe worth a rental if you're looking for a little bit of an off the wall comedy. And there you have it, two films that made what I thought was going to be a pretty lousy Sunday at the movies a decent day at the theater. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.